um, in this lecture we'll talk about the uh, dialux uh, wizard as we see uh, we'll start uh, the dialux version uh, it will come for us this window uh, dialux wizard has been available since uh, this version dialux 3.1 now i think they reach to uh, version 4.9 with the help of this wizard, it is possible to complete uh, lighting design quickly and simply. Uh, this means that infrequent users of uh, Dialux can uh, readily use a program without having to train themselves fully in using the software. After the installation, you will find the Dialux light wizard on your desktop near the uh, normal uh, dialux icon you can start the wizard by one click here uh, if you already started dialux you will find the dialux light wizard in the menu file as we see this is a menu here we will choose dialux wizard then it will appear uh, new we have here many other option if you will use shape or normal or uh, whatever so will you will you choose uh, we'll find the uh, new menu we'll open uh, we'll choose uh, dialog light then we have the new window it's showing uh, that you are welcomed by startup window in this window the next step uh, that follow are explained to move to next window should press uh, next here this is a project information we have to enter in this window project information about the project which we are going uh, to start uh, we have to enter uh, the data of uh, your customer both will appear later in uh, print out after completing the data entry uh, please uh, click on next so let's for example project name project uh, one room name room one project description uh, project manager any any whatever you want to write it uh, contact uh, for example Ahmed telephone any phone number fax if you want fill it fill it whatever for uh, your project here is the value partner of contact order number company name customer number and there you can add also your company logo so after completing this information we'll click next we'll get the data input so after we finish the project information we'll start a new window it's name data input you satisfy the room geometry on the left hand side by default uh, dialog slide produce uh, a rectangular uh, room if you click box this box for use L shape you will get uh, L shape room not use it will be rectangular normal here we have to put A and B so let's choose uh, L shape room so we'll have uh, a 
B, C, D, we have to put each uh, lens here. Um, L shape room, we have to enter relevant dimension with regard to uh, room uh, figure drawing. You can change your left hand side the reflectance of the ceiling here and wall and the floor. Uh, the wall reflectance selected applies to all the wall. Here, for example, ceiling, standard ceiling, reflection will be 70 wall, standard wall, it will be 50 ground, it will be as a standard 20%. So this as, as per the standard, here is a dimension, here we have to put the lens for A, lens for B, as we see here, lens for C, here lens for D. So, let's use the existing dimension, lens 9.6 with, or A, 9.6, B, 9.6, C, 4.8, D, 4.8. So, we'll use this shape and this information. Height, the room height from ground to ceiling, to the ceiling, uh, we, um, for example, it will be 2.8 meter. All here, as we see, the dimension by meter. The work plan, this means uh, where is your desk or where you will work. You will work on the ground, you will work on table. So this means the lens from the ground to the table. So working plan, we have to write the lens from the ground to the table. Uh, we choose, for example, that we have office, so it will be 0.75 meters. This means 75 centi. Wall zone, how it's far from uh, the wall, uh, we assume it's uh, 0.5 meter. Now we'll, most, we'll move to next uh, step that we have to choose our luminaire. On click on database, start manufacturer plug in in plug in. You can select the luminaire which you want to use, and then click on apply or use. We'll click here. Uh, in this program, I add only Philips uh, Philips database, so we can search here for Philips. Database Philips Philips uh, here Philips we find Philips it will open a new windows for uh, the lighting data database which we have to choose uh, so here. First, we have to know we'll work indoor or outdoor. For example, we are working in a room, so we'll use indoor. Here is the luminar uh, categories. We have many options here, uh, buttons and industrial reflectors, uh, decorative luminar, down light, free floor standing luminar, projector and spot, uh, rest uh, mounted, reflector lamp, Special purpose luminaire structure surface and this option depend on the company. Here I use the flips uh, database. So we'll use for example uh, raised. We'll use normal one decorative uh, luminaire. Okay, so we have to choose family name. For example, we'll take whatever for family name. Adent Grania Krista Scrobel. We'll choose first one. So this is the shape of the light. We can change it from here. The type of family 
code here if we use another type of family name we have many many other type here same slight but I prefer to use if we have uh, fluorescent reflector lamp reflector lamp fluorescent I prefer to use this one uh, 30 uh, 6 watt there is no photo I don't show, show you the photo so I will try to choose uh, different type okay So find uh, one type of uh, the light we you choose resist mounted crib dim family name family code TBX 780 as uh, filter housing TB 780135 TL 535 watt here is the picture here is a polar diagram here is the lamp the color you can change the degree of the color as you want then here selected luminaire cream medium you have to know this type because once you finish you will check with Philips about the <coughs> when you request the material for your project after you have to request the same type of the light so you can get the design as per the design uh, luminaire or lux so we'll press add then we'll close it here he added here is the shape this part luminaire selection we choose it here the luminous here luminous flux here the luminaire mounting mounting type raised well uh, user defined will use uh, resist so it will be uh, flat with the uh, ceiling okay here we can choose uh, if you use user defined you can choose the uh, uh, <coughs> the length of the light from the uh, ceiling for example you can you can put support and get the ceiling the light little uh, down from the ceiling here you have to put suspension height here the support height or the thread rod height which you will uh, fix the light on it height above working plane from the your disc up to the light here the mounted height from ground to the uh, light itself will choose this automatic with this then we will press next <coughs> okay in this page uh, after choosing the light we'll start to put the this is the distribution before we put in the any any value it's here uh, written blended uh, lux required 500 uh, for example if this office prefer to uh, use 500 lux later I will show you schedule about uh, about the required lux for each room okay uh, for example we'll use keep it as it is 500 lux so press suggest this is a suggestion for example if we use 400 lux and press suggest you will see it's a change use 100 lux sure he will reduce the number of lamp as we see so if this office will use 500 lux so we have this numbers of the height of the light 
then the result here if we need to change the number of x and y x the uh, horizontal y the vertical or yeah, in the ceiling here is this one x this y here is the distance from all so this is a luminaire degree you can turn the light from here from 90 to uh, 180 to 170 so we'll use 180 it's look better and nice so with this one will be the final after choosing here automatic or free choice for uh, new locks if you want uh, isolex lines so we'll keep it automatic then we'll press calculate it's calculating the locks here is the value average locks uh, 553 minimum in some area will be 275 <coughs> then uh, maximum will be 702 locks minimum per average 0.5 minimum per maximum uh, 0.4 then we we'll press next so here how uh, we, we need the output Output will be on uh, this project cover five pages Luminaire data sheet summary input protocol Luminaire uh, coordinate. We want output as a PDF or printer preview before we print. Copy result so press print preview. print will be uh, like this. this is page number one page number two includes the value page number three page number four okay we'll print as a pdf print as a pdf Save, we'll save it for example to my uh, desktop room light we we'll call it room one then it's printing now after finish we we'll check uh, the final file uh, this quick for uh, any room you have you want to calculate uh, the locks, how many luminaire you want to choose the suitable uh, luminaire still printing uh, later we'll take some other examples for changing change, changing the L shape dimension changing the locks other location printing just taking a little more time here uh, the output file uh, as we say uh, room number one I saw it it is existing here my desktop will check room number one this output uh, this is a cover uh, page for example project one project manager air partner contact if we fill the information first which all it will come here even your company logo air Philips and this is a type of light shape of light this is the data this is the calculations this is the room shape and the reading for each area. Uh, so we'll complete the next, next lecture.